we're going to demonstrate how Zeoplant reduces the infiltration speed of sandy soils. In both chambers is uh, sweet soil. So we're just going to apply Zeoplant on the surface as it's in the field. And we're just going to be mixing it in the first 10 centimeters, trying to mix it as homogeneous as possible. see here how the plant is going to be mixed in. Okay, and now we're going to water both chambers. So we can see the infiltration is much lower here. We are creating small ponds on the surface as it is done in the, in the field as well, whereby in the normal soil the water goes down very quickly. So in order to achieve the water to go through quickly, we're going to increase the irrigation amount. We're going to continue with another portion of water. So we have filled now four and a half liters on both chambers. And already here on the surface, it's easy to recognize that on the zeoplant mix the water is held much longer on the surface so the water needs much more time to percolate through and as you can see also here the water is already down more than 10 centimeters assuming this is a lawn area where the roots are about 10 centimeters so this water which is here already after just maybe two or three minutes it's already lost for the roots so the, the soil is saturated here and this water, what we, are st what we have standing here, it's just excess water which we don't need to irrigate. We're going to continue observing the infiltration and we're going to wait till the first drops reach these little buckets. Therefore, we increase the water pressure and the quantity. So the more the soil gets saturated here, we can also see here how the water gets stagnant on the surface, which is obviously excess water. This part is now completely filled with water, so we can wait um, uh, about another few seconds till the first water drops go through, which should simulate the waste and the loss of water after a few minutes. We continue watering, but we want to wait until the first drops reach the bottom. And here we go. Now this is the leach out. And you can easily see and even hear 
how fast it goes and how fast the water gets lost. But just observing this for a few more minutes. This right chamber here, still no water goes through. As we can see, the water level just reached here, because most of the water is just gonna be held in here where the plant get got mixed in. So the right chamber is still completely dry, while by the left one it's easy to recognize how the water goes in and how it's going to be filled. We are waiting for the first drops to come out here, which should happen any time. Now here we go, after a little bit more than 11 minutes we are getting the first drops out. But what is also very easy to recognize, the speed of the water is much much lower than once the water started to come out on the left chamber. So this is another sign how the soil holds the moisture and lets the leaching out be reduced through the plant. Okay, now we're just, since the both soil, soil profiles are saturated with water, we're gonna give water again, because now you can easily recognize that the flow will be much faster than before, and we will be able to recognize immediately how the water goes through. going like a big push yeah and we can easily see the speed of the water coming out on the left chamber without zeo plant with a very big speed again let us just have a look at the excess water which is just standing on the top how fast it's going through 